Iron Tepix that did not mess that up. And today we have our team prep for our week one IPBL match versus Ice in the Great Lake Greninja. So I'm going to go over to the team that I built. I did get help from people. I will, uh, I will admit, obviously, Brendan and Jose, I asked them for help. Appreciate your help, guys. And uh, we're going to go over the team that... Uh, was that we ended up built building for his squad so he's got a very very intimidating squad with the likes of Manaphy, Dragonite, Ryu Nicholas, Bisharp, Rotom Heat, Ninetales, Uxie, Muck, Fortress, Golurk, and Cradley. Now I'd love to have Uxie on my team because you know I love it but something you notice you might notice about his entire team is it's slow. The fastest Pokemon is Ninetales Alola being 109 but I have a Pokemon that can easily take that thing on and is only a little bit slower so very nice um, and I'll be I'm actually bringing him this week so pretty cool stuff and you're gonna get to see some of the nicknames for four new Pokemon that I haven't actually had in draft league so pretty cool stuff like rock is really good against his entire squad because I don't believe uh, he has a resistance on his entire team except for Golurk which is incredible um, how Rock just run through team. I guess Bisharp, but I should say Terrakion in general. Terrakion runs through his team. Uh, I mean, Manaphy is probably the only thing that can actually really live a hit. Ryu Nicholas and Yuxi will not want to take two. I'm excited for this match. I feel like we can do really well. Uh, the Pick'em's crew has voted 5-1 to one in favor of me. <laughs> so we'll see if they're right. We ended up, we recorded that, uh, the Pick'em's video earlier today. Um, anyways, we're going to start off. Our first Pokemon is Rosbuton the Roserade. So, uh, it's been a while since we've had this Pokemon. I love it to death. So we're rocking Assault Vest variants. This thing can take very, can take hits. Mainly, it's there for because... May for there because yeah, Ryu Nicholas Yuxi and Rotom Heat um, Nine Tails also does not want to take a sledge bomb from this thing. So pretty much the Soul Vest guarantee. I'm pretty sure it guarantees me to live all of their moves and whatnot. I kind of wish instead of defense, I'd put it in special defense because of his special threats. But I feel like the Soul Vest will still help me out. I want to actually calc and see how much damage these guys would do. Modest Max Special Attack, Ryu Nicholas, I can live a Psychic from. And neither of the other two have as good Special Attack as Ryu Nicholas. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the Assault Vest comes really in handy. Uh, so, pretty cool stuff. That is, yeah, that, I mean, Rosbaton is just going to be helpful in general because he's got basic coverage for basically everything on his team. Uh, he doesn't have super effective stuff for a couple of them. Uh, obviously, Dazzling Gleam will be neutral on Bisharp. Uh, I'm, I'm bringing specifically Shadow Ball because of those two Psychic types that threaten this thing, and that's really about it. It, it can hit Go Lurk with Shadow Ball. It could be decent. Um, Giga Drain will get me health back, and let's see. His resistances are Fortress and Muck and Dragonite and Bisharp and Rotom. So, more than I thought. But that's okay because Sludge Bomb and Shadow Ball can handle those. And yeah, overall, I just feel Rosbaton is going to be very helpful. This thing is built to outspeed max speed Rotom Heat, which is base 86. I'm pretty sure that's what it's built to outspeed. No, no, no. It's. No, no, it was Dragonite. Pretty positive I built this thing to outspeed Dragonite, which is base 80. So. Yeah. I didn't really plan on Rotom Heat being max special attack or max speed. I don't really think it will be because Rotom Heat isn't the. I don't know. I mean, base 86 isn't that fast, but I feel like that he won't have enough speed invested in order to, like, outspeed Roserade. Uh, I don't know what he would try to speed creep, if anything, on my team. I don't really know specifically what's in, around in that area. I'm not on my team, so I don't even care, but... Yeah, that is Rosbuton for us. Max Special Attack and a little bit in defense, just so I can live a hit better. I do kind of wish now I put it in Special Attack, but... You, you you win and you lose. I'm not, I don't really care to ask for it to be regenned. Next up, we have Escalators! <laughs> the Electros holding the Assault Vessel, Volt Switch, Hidden Power Ice, Knock Off, and I real, uh, the guy who generated Pokemon realized this. Uh, this is supposed to be Thunderbolt. So I decided to make this thing a quiet nature because um, I don't think it'll really matter what it outspeeds here. There's this, this part of me that really wishes I also brought Flamethrower because of what he's got one Pokemon is good against. I don't know. Anyways, this Pokemon is meant to be a pivot. It's also meant to hit super hard. 
Um, we put a lot, I put a lot in special attack, but I was able to, I wanted to spread some out, put a little in special defense, and then just a little more in attack, uh, just so knockoff could do a little bit more to the psychic types. Uh, it could be decent. Quiet, I don't feel like that its speed is that necessary in this matchup. Slow Volt Switches could be very helpful. Uh, Hidden Power Ice is mainly for Dragonite, because Dragonite is kind of an issue. In my mind, Dragonite is the biggest issue on his team for me. Uh, I do have some other ca some counters like this thing and another Pokemon later on that are good for the Manaphy, um, but I just I feel like the Dragonite and Ryu Nicholas are going to be a huge issue, it's huge thorns thorns on my sides. Um, so knockoff is obviously to get rid of items. If I wanted, if I had the opportunity to hit Manaphy with a knockoff before anything and get rid of its walk on there if it's bringing that, or like Life Orb if it's bringing that, that would be scary as all hell if Manaphy was bringing that. Or just get rid of, get rid of items because he's got a couple bulky Pokemon being the Uxie Muck. Maybe get rid of the uh, Black Sludge and the Muck, uh, the, uh, the leftovers and the Uxie. Uh, he probably wouldn't bring Ice on Ninetales if he did because he's only got the one Pokemon being that Ninetales that is strong against Ice. So he's probably just going to run Snowbale if he even brings it, which I'm not even sure if he will. That's not important. This Pokemon overall is my utility. Uh, I do have a couple Pokemon on this team weak to Earthquake. I don't know if anyone else besides Dragonite actually gets Earthquake on his team. Muck might. Like Golark does, yeah. So this Pokemon's mainly my utility. It's uh, to get me a good switch in. Uh, I can get knockoffs off and get rid of items on Pokemon. And uh, good stuff. I Hidden Power Ice, so Dragonite is not safe against me. Uh, and then Thunderbolt just hits hard. Because, I let's see, does he have any... He's got, what, the three resistances being... Alright, he's got, yeah, he's the Rotom, <laughs> yeah, the Rotom, the Golur Golurk, and the Cradley. The Golurk is a Mian, obviously, so, uh, Electric's pretty decent against the squad, so, pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have the replacement for Kate Upton this season, Leonardo, the Blastoise, and you'll have already seen the sprite is gonna be shiny because the dude and, uh, Leonardo shiny, I prefer its normal form, but... Whatever, what can you do? Anyways, <laughs> uh, we're going to Leftovers Bulky, uh, especially defensive set rather than physically defensive, with Toxic, Ice Beam, Scald, and Roar. Now he's got a lot more powerful physical attackers, nothing on the, or excuse me, special attackers, nothing on the physical side really threatens Blastoise that much. I wanted to make this thing uh, special defensive because if I can have something to switch into that mana feat easier, uh, maybe take an energy ball better, something like that would be nice, maybe get off a roar so I can uh, get rid of its boosts, so pretty much, so yeah. I don't know what I was talking about, but we're uh, going calm nature here, so this thing is going to be super specially bulky. Uh, it's going to max special defense, max HP, um, and just foreign special attack to boost the power of Ice Beam and Scald a little better. Uh, I didn't really need, let's see, I don't know, we didn't need Rapid Spin, because nothing on this team is really threatened by rocks this week. Um, I didn't also bring rocks of my own, which might have been helpful for Pokemon like that Dragonite and the Rotom Heat. So, anyways, yes, yeah, Scald Burns could be very nice, uh, and Scald hits really well against, across his entire team. I believe, like, Dragonite and Manaphy are his only resistances to, to water, which is really nice. Uh, Ice Beam hits the Dragonite, so this thing isn't very good against Manaphy. I did originally have HP Electric, but we decided that Roar was probably more effective for the Manaphy, because uh, I do have two other Pokemon that can take it on, and another one that outspeeds it that can just put a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for Leonardo here. So, pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Team Captain Atlas the Terrakion, our first overall pick, which is 11th. So, so this thing is going to hit like a truck. As I already explained, Terrakion runs through his squad. Uh, I decided to run Rocky MZ, because this thing just, if I, it's basically something dies. As if it's not, uh, if it's not Go Lurk. It basically something dies <laughs> to Rocky and Z. Uh, Fortress won't, I don't, I probably won't one shot the Fortress, but it'll do a ton of damage. Uh, this thing is just equipped to take on his entire squad. It's very similar, uh, if you think about it to Mudsdale, because of its limited move pool. This thing's got Earthquake, Stone Edge, Close Combat, uh, you can run Sacred Sword, you don't have that mu much else. It does get Poison Jab and Iron Head though, so this thing is very good fairy killer. <laughs> 
Um, but Close Combat is going to help me really nicely against Pokemon like that. Fortress is going to do a ton of damage. Stone Edge and Close Combat. Actually, Close Combat has a higher base power, so Close Combat would do more. Stone Edge is very nice against that Rotom Heat, but it doesn't want to take a Close Combat either. Uh, literally, Close Combat and Stone Edge run through his entire squad. Earthquake is kind of there just for the muck, because it would do more damage to the muck, and then uh, everything else it's pretty much the same. So. This thing's gonna be crazy, and if I get the chance to set up a sword stance, something's gonna die to that Rocky MC. <laughs> but, oh man, I'm excited to use Terrakion, man. So this thing is built to outspeed max speed Manaphy, uh, and put the rest in special defense so I can possibly live a bit, uh, special hit better. Um, max attack as well, so this thing is gonna hit like a truck. I'm, I'm excited to use Terrakion, man. It's, it's gonna be so fun because it's so good. Rock fighting is such a good typing, as well as the Pokemon itself just so good, so strong. I'm so excited to use Terrakion. It's got very good, very decent defense stats, so, whew, very nice. Next up, we have something that I'd probably consider second team captain, Tobin the Gliscor. <laughs> uh, since Tobin, uh, I mean, Tobin was just, he's, just, he's like my favorite character in Echoes, so, you know what, I felt like it worked for this, the Gliscor. Um, Atlas is also from... Uh, Echoes, if you didn't get that. He's the villager dude that I turned into a cavalier. Anyways, we're doing a Toxic Orb Poison Heal set with Earthquake, Ice Fang, Knock Off, and Stone Edge. So, once again, this thing is built to wreck faces. <laughs> this thing is built to outspeed max speed Dragonite, as well as the next Pokemon on the list that has the same speed stat. Uh, and I put the rest in special defense because if I can live a hit better from Manaphy or something like that, that'd be amazing. Uh, Ice Fang obviously just does a ton of damage to, to Dragonite, that's mainly the reason I'm bringing it. Also hits Goldark and Cradley for super effective damage. Um, let's see, anything else? That's about it. So, uh, Knock Off does very nicely against those Psychic types, and I can get rid of any item I want to on any of the Pokemon, which is really good, except for ones that are holding a Z Crystal, but pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's see, Earthquake, Stab Move, hits super well against his entire team. I believe, let's see, Dragonite being a flying type and Uxie with Levitator is only way to avoid it and Rotom Heat with Levitate, so. And then Rotom Heat, I have Stone Edge for that. It doesn't want to come in on a Gluscore anyway, because it can't touch me. I mean, it can hit hard with Overheat, and that's about all it can do. I don't remember if Overheat can even burn. It might be able to burn, but anyways. Uh, yeah, Toxic or Poison Heal, so this thing should be a very irritating Pokemon to face. <laughs> so... As I said, this is built to outspeed max speed uh, Dragonite, and this allows I have max attack, and then the rest in special defense, so this thing can be a little bit bulkier. So, pretty cool stuff. And finally, brrr, just I don't know why he was not my team captain, or she, it has not been my team captain after so many seasons, but Princess the Electivire. You know what? Screw Atlas, you can take a seat. Princess is team captain this season. <laughs> oh, man. I don't, it was a Mew in the I, IBL last season, I'd say. But anyways, we have a Shuka, uh, huh? Okay, I just got into a conversation, we're good. I don't know what I was talking about, but this thing is built to live in Earthquake from a couple of different Pokemon. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I really didn't have a better item. I may end up changing this because thinking about it overall, it's not that great in, in the long run, Shuka Berry, because... Uh, there's not that much that's, I don't know, you know, something like that. This thing, obviously, Thunderbolt just wrecks Manaphy, uh, does a lot of damage to the rest of his team, because he's only got those, uh, one, res the two resistances and one immunity. Flamethrower is really good against that, it obliterates Fortress, uh, it hits Ninetales super hard, it'll hit Bishop super hard, uh, it'll also hit Cradley decently, so that's nice. Uh, Signal Beam, I brought that specifically for Cradley, because I didn't have anything specifically, like, uh, cross chop or anything like that for it and I felt like uh, having it be super effective would be nice because this thing doesn't get a dark type move it also works for the uh, the psychic types because obviously bug being or psychic being weak to bug it helps very nicely when it comes to that and then hidden power ice mainly for Dragonite because Dragonite is an issue um, <laughs> pretty much that's about it it also hits cradley decently and yeah so that is about it 
for the team. Uh, this thing is also built to outspeed Max V Dragon A, Max Special Attack, and the rest in Special Defense so I can live a special hit better from something. So that is the team we are bringing for Ice and the Great Light Green Ninjas. We have Dilix uh, The link to this, his channel in the IBL Twitter, or in the IPBL Twitter will be in the description below. Everyone go check that out. And uh, yes, I'm excited for this match. Hopefully we can pull it a W in our first game. Uh, in an upload required league, so thanks so much for watching. Let's go, Iron Pigs. Iron Tepigs. Close.